Hi guys, Ian, the master of pieces here. I'm a part-time eBay reseller, and this weekend I've had six sales which I want to share with you. But I've also had two pickups off of Facebook Marketplace, which I'll reveal at the end. I'll give you a sneak peek. There's one of them. You can probably guess what that one is already. But hey, two pickups to show you as well. But let's run through the sales. Um, six sales for me is pretty good. I've, I've been slowing down recently. It, it had hit four or five sales a day, then dropped to two, and I'm still averaging about two, which is great. So, the first sale was actually this bag of fake, or should I say faux, pearl, um, pearl, pearl, pearl jewellery. There's necklaces, there's earrings, there's bangles, there's, there's all types of bits. Now, I've got tons of costume jewellery that I need to list and sort through. I'll be honest, it's, it's really boring. I, I'm not enjoying it. So it's getting to the point now where I am just bagging stuff up um, and selling them uh, in bulk. So this bag here, I've sold for £12.50. And let's be honest, even if I sold these things individually, I don't know if I'd get much more than that anyway. Whenever I do bag up jewellery like this, I always weigh it and make sure it comes in less than two kilos so I can post a small parcel. So the buyer's given me £4 postage um, for this. I think if you post anything heavier than two kilos, no one's going to even bother paying you uh, the postage for it. So, first sale of the day, 12.50, come from my dad's garage, so I got them all for free, so that's pure profit. So, after fees, you're looking at about £10. While we're on stuff that's come from my dad's garage, the second sale is this lady's top. It's by a make called Mint Velvet, and it's size small. I, I, I struggled to list this to be honest because I was I couldn't tell what colour it was. I've put it down as like a grey blue. Because I don't know if it's blue or whether it's grey. So I just put I just put both of them down. But this is one of the last things that I was listing from a big clothing bundle. I was I wasn't really into it. I was getting bored. In fact I forgot to actually put in the listing what size it was. So it's a good job I, I um, took a photo. It is size small. It's a good job I took that photo though. And this one sold for £8 plus £4 postage. So again, like I said, it's from my dad's garage. It didn't cost me anything. So after fees, you're looking at, what, just under £7 profit? Not too bad. The third sale is this Sims 2 game here. I picked this one up um, from that. DS bundle off of the Facebook marketplace that was posted. It does have the instructions and obviously the game in there. Um, the buyer messaged me and asked, does it work on UK Nintendo DSs? So yes, it does. So that's all good. Um, it was up for £15. The buyer offered me £12. I thought, hey, for the sake of a couple of quid, let's just accept it. And this has meant that I've made all my money back on that DS bundle. So any more DS games from that bundle I sell will be pure profit. So no profit in this one at the minute, uh, the bundle, but when more sell, it will be. Fourth sale today is good old Trackmaster. How about this? Um, I paid £40 for tons of this stuff. I thought it was a bit of a howler. Um, it's taken up so much room. Um, and there's loads of Trackmaster listings on, on eBay. But six pieces of this double track. So, yeah, two tracks side by side. There's a bit of, there's like a switch thing in there. And there's connectors to put it down to a single track there. That sold for £8.50 plus £4 postage. So I've already sold a couple of Trackmaster pieces. So after fees, I've got £25. I paid £40, so I only need to make £15 back. And I've got probably 9 or 10 listings, all valued at about £10 each. So hopefully, I should make my money back, even if I drop the prices on all of those listings. I'll at least make my money back. And it's looking like I'll probably get a bit of profit too. So I don't think I will look for Trackmaster again. It's too big. It's too bulky. It's too much out there. It doesn't sell quick. But I'm sure if you've got the time and the space... You know, you can make a profit off Trackmaster. Fifth sale is this Warhammer Thousand Suns Chaos. I think it's a sorcerer. 
his arms come off and that I put that in the listing but it's quite a clean break and it should glue in I think whenever you assemble these that is a piece that needed to be glued on anyway the painting is okay uh, I'd say it's a, a good tabletop standard it wouldn't be a, a um, display piece but it's pure metal so you can easily clean all that paint off and you can repaint that if, if you want to and this one is sold on the global shipping program this will be going off to France and it's sold for £7.50 plus £4 postage the buyer is going to pay extra postage to obviously get it delivered to France so that just gives you a feel about the value of this but hey £7.50 my usual rule for metal Warhammer figures is three to five pounds so I'm going above that which is great and I'm actually running out of this Chaos Warhammer I'm already in just over £200 profit I paid £100 for loads of this stuff £200 profit already and that's just adding on to the top of it so after fees you're looking at £6 for this figure and the final sale I've made is this set of Marvel bed sheets still sealed they're, they are brand new they're not particularly old but they've got that retro kind of comic book style um, and I picked this one up from the charity shop before the lockdown I think I paid £3 so three pounds or four pounds can't remember but this was actually up with all the kind of board games so some and i guess it's quite a the charity shop isn't the best organized so i think they just stuff stuff wherever they've got space that was on the top shelf picked it up and this one sold for nine pounds so you know not not a massive amount of profit you're looking at the fees about four quid maybe just over but you know it's, it's easy for me to store and actually if, if this hadn't been sold i might have given it to my to my son but he's, he's he's got he's got a couple of sets of like this anyway already so no harm done there um so yeah nice bit of profit so all in all sales wise i am in probably about 30 pounds profit for this weekend so not too bad i'll take that and i got two more two pickups um, both off of facebook marketplace i picked them up yesterday um followed social distancing guidelines impeccably um and yeah so um the first one i'll show you i paid 60 pounds for um it was up on facebook marketplace for two hours and the guy had already had one lady who was messing him around a bit she offered him 30 pounds for it all the guy just said you're joking um she come back with 50 and he was he was going to accept it but then i messaged and said i'll just pay you it full price and what it is is i don't even know where i put it where i put it here it is it's a nintendo 3ds in the case let me show you this 3ds in the case with stylus um the screen is fantastic my wife was playing on this last night so it's fully tested working well and i think actually i won't be far off getting my 60 pounds back just with that i've got the charger inside um you know I, that won't be far off making my 60 pounds back and actually what i what i'll do is he's, he's given me a fair few games with it i have got one two three four five i got seven games with it so that's where my profit's going to be but what these are the first two games i got with it you got lego pirates of caribbean just for normal nintendo ds and this what's it called moshi theme park moshlings theme park these two aren't worth particularly much on their own so i will bundle those two together plus no um deal or no deal and the ben 10 game for my other bundle and put that together and that will make me my 60 pounds back so this is where the profit is going to be in those other games so they are sonic generations 3ds played on this last night real cool game love that i'm going to play on that a bit more i think uh, but that will sell for about 10 pounds pokemon sun um yeah that will go for about 20 pounds i think they've all got the uh, booklets in them um, i was going to say i was going to give that a play but I, I turned it on last night and you kind of just get a bit daunted that, that is going to be a long game to play so yeah i turned it on make sure it worked but yeah i think i'll just sell it so that'll be 20 mario kart 7 
uh, 3DS. That's an easy seller, isn't it? 10 to 15 maybe. I think, yeah, let's say 12. Super Mario Land 3D. About a tenner. Nice game as well. And Pokemon Y. So I reckon that'll go for 15. So from my £60 investment, I think that's where my profit is in those games. And I should be doubling my money at least. So pretty pleased with that. Um, yeah, nice investment. So those will be listed up hopefully tonight. Um, if if you fancy buy, buying any of them, just jump on my store. Make make me an offer. Let me know that you've like seen the YouTube video and that you've seen the game on there. And you know we can we can come to like a deal. We can we can knock some money off and yeah, give give you guys a good deal for supporting the channel. But this is the second bundle I picked up, and I guarantee you guys won't won't have looked for these before when you're outsourcing. So here's some again to look for. They're not South Park teddies this time. And there's not as much profit in them, but they're still good items to look for. And uh, I paid £15 for this bag. The lady left it in her porch. I posted the letter through uh, the money through her letterbox. Um, and what they are are these Horrid Henry children's books. Now, these are real popular. Kids absolutely love these. And all the pictures are drawn by my my favorite illustrator tony ross i remember growing up with tony ross he drew the roald dahl books um, he's done all the recent david williams books he is fantastic so i love reading these to my boys and these sell for roughly a pound each if you sell them in, in say bundles of 10 you'll make 10 11 pounds and i have got 22 small books and two of these larger hardback books all of them horrid henry's so from my 15 pounds investment i will probably be getting 30 pounds back so i've doubled my money so it's only 15 pounds profit but i doubt i'll be selling these anytime soon these are going to go to my boys they get absolutely loving the thing is i love reading these to my boys some of the books that i've read to them are just horrific but these ones are really funny. And like I say, I just love the pictures. So not a problem there. But when I do come around to sell them, that'll be a safe 15 quid profit. So all good. Right, guys, that's all from me. I've got to get and actually pack all this stuff up now because I've got a pub quiz tonight with the family and then hopping on Call of Duty Battle Royale with the boys. Um, so I've got no time tonight to pack everything. That's why it's come a bit early. So I've got... I gotta crack on so thanks for watching guys if you like what you've seen click like share it and subscribe and i'll catch up with you when i have a few more sales and a few more pickups see you guys keep safe bye